Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to start modeling with protostructure because there are a few ways to do it. After you launch the program and create a new project, this modeling interface welcomes you. Here you can start modeling by either importing external reference drawings and DXF files, or directly generating the axes and modeling the members. First, let me show you how to import an external reference drawing. This feature allows you to utilize architectural drawings as ghost reference layers under your model. Now I select the command from the ribbon menu, and I select the DXF file that I want to import. After selecting the file, I make the necessary adjustments here like the unit systems. Once I check the box here and activate the display, the plan becomes visible here. Note that this tool allows you to assign DXF drawings to different stories, but you need to make sure that the reference DXF files are intact to restore the external drawing layer next time the project gets loaded. On the other hand, utilizing DXF import command, you can import drawing objects and transform them into 3D modeling elements. Let me show you how to do that as well. I click on the import button and the DXF import window launches. Here I select the members that I want to import from the drawing. You can also manage the connectivity tolerances and other features here. I'm not making any changes on those and I click the import button. Here you can see that the graphic editor of the protostructure recognizes the drawing objects and transforms them into the 3D modeling objects. You can continue your modeling process with these members. However, let me start modeling from the scratch now. Let's generate the orthogonal axes for a simple model. For this purpose, I go to the Modeling tab, utilize the orthogonal axis generator, and click on a grid intersection point. On this window, you can easily manage the axis properties. For example, let me enter the spacing values for the axes in the Y direction. Here we have our axes generated instantly. You can define curved axes as well. I select this axis, go to right-click menu and open the properties window. Here I change the intersection method to curved. Here I easily generated the curved axis. Let's delete this one and modify this section as well. As you can see, clicking at the grid intersections, I can easily draw a new axis. After inserting my axis, now I'm ready to start modeling the structural members. However, I will explain that process in our upcoming video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep exploring the all-in-one structural engineering software.